and soldering is not difficult as you think but you need some knowledge and skill in this video i'm going to tell you how to solder through hole and smd components easily without special tools let's get started We gonna need soldering iron here i'm using soldering station that helps me to change to the right temperature from my components hot air workstation for smd components solder paste flux or natural rosin tweezers helping hand optional Here is the board that I want to solder. I'm gonna solder both SMD and through hole components. So in this case, I'm going to start with the smaller SMD parts here like resistors. Then I will move to bigger and taller parts. While soldering, you need to select the right temperature and the right soldering tip. Here I'm going to set my soldering station to 350 degrees Celsius and using the SMD tab from C-Series. It's very important to start soldering with a clean shiny tab. To achieve this, I'm using wet soldering sponge here. Then turn your soldering tab. Here I'm using 63% turn and 37% lead with 2% core flux that gives nice soldering joints. So, to solder a package like small resistor here, I'm adding some tin to the tip and small amount of flux to the board. But, why we add flux while we have it inside the soldering wire? Actually, because when we add solder to the tip, the whole flux inside the solder wire burns out. That's why we add flux again to the board. Now, let's solder this component. Apply small amount of solder to the tip. Hold the component in place, then apply soldering over the component. As you see here, the solder joint is pretty shiny and the amount is not too much or insufficient. Now let's move to more complex components. TQFP40. This component is only 7 by 7 millimeters. And it has 40 pins. That means very small spacing which always cause soldering bridges. So, to solder a component like this, check the direction, add some flux on the board, hold the component in place and only solder the first pin. Check the component alignment and solder only one pin from the opposite direction. Now, the component is aligned well, so we can go ahead to solder the rest of pins. Actually, we finished this difficult board. So now add a small amount of tin to your soldering tip and get in and out each pin. The flat surface of the tip should fully touching the PCB while soldering to heat the beds quickly. Through hole components are much easier than SMD components. Let's solder the spin headers. 
for through hole components I will use a tip from P series. This kind of tips can work from any angle. So here I have my soldering iron set to 400 degrees and with my solder wire I will solder ends first then going to proceed with other pins. Hold your component to the PCB, heat the PCB bed and the component pin at the same time. Then apply solder directly. We don't need to apply flux in this case because it's added directly from the solder wire. Ok, let's try to use hot air soldering. I have this package here and I'm going to apply little bit of solder paste on the beds. Align your component. Set the air flow to minimum and set the heater to minimum also. It's very important to preheat the PCB before soldering. So I'm going to distribute the hot air over the component to prevent thermal shock that can crack the traces. When I see some solder melting, it's the right time for soldering. So now I'm going to put my hot air closer to the component melting all solder around the beds. And it's done without bridges in few seconds. I want to thank PCB Way for this awesome quality PCBs that I used over the video. It was really perfect and cheap PCBs. Check out the description. And here are some tips from Islam's lab for better soldering experience. Soldering tip. If you are new to soldering, it's very important to turn your soldering tip well at the first time, then leave it to cool down and your soldering iron will be ready for work. Cleaning sponge. Unlike any kind of widely used cleaning sponge, there is a special type for soldering. You need to keep it wet during soldering. Soldering iron stand. The stand comes in several shapes and most of the stands has a place for cleaning sponge. Make sure if you are right handed to place the stand on your right. And don't make the iron cable cross with the soldering iron or don't do this if you are accident lover. Soldering fumes. While soldering, make sure you are in good ventilated area. Soldering fumes has some chemicals can be really harmful for your heels. After soldering, don't forget to wash your hands or wear rubber gloves. While soldering, don't heat the components. Each component has its own heat limitations. Exceeding these limits can damage your components. Adding flux. Flux is very important during soldering process. It gives nice heat distribution and removes the oxidation from metals. And that's all for today. I hope this video was informative for you. If you have any question, drop it in comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.